Hello, my crafty friends. Metalark001 here on YouTube, back again for a, another video of some cards that I've made using Carnation Crafts collections. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, these are the lantern dies that I've used to make these um, card sets with, and these are some bereavement or sympathy cards that I decided to make with the lantern. Um, collection and I um, wanted to show you just the versatility that you can make with these dies. You can make them birthday, you could make them sympathy, you could make them wedding, um, just new baby, anniversary, just thinking of you. So there's just such a a, a range of different types of greeting handmade greeting cards that you can make with their dies which I just love so <clears throat> as in my previous video um, that I showed you uh, this is the same concept it is the dies that you purchase they are a UK based company and they are carnation crafts and their um, website is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk so you can go to their website and look at all the beautiful collections they have they have um, some samples on each of the different die sets that you could look at if you're interested in kind of seeing what you can make with them you can look at the vignettes um, and the vignettes are the all of the <clears throat> excuse me the beautiful cutouts that you see here that you print you put your die on and you cut them out so that's what these are made from so if you look at their website you will see that these are what they call vignettes so you print these out and they have different colors and different styles and um, this is more of the new autumn collection that they just put out. So I decided to use these ones to make the cards with. So what you do is you go ahead and you print these out on your printer. You print them out on a pro paper, which uh, you can buy from Carnation Crafts. And it doesn't seep in, so the color stays very vibrant on the top of your uh, sheets. And that's what makes it so vibrant. Um, because it doesn't soak into your regular cardstock paper that you use. So if you use the pro paper from them, you are going to see the difference uh, that it makes when you are printing out on them. Whether it's your vignettes or other crafts that you make, it's just so vibrant on their pro paper. So I would look that up when I um, when you go search them and, and go to their website. So this is what the vignettes are. And then what you do is you will put your, um, <clears throat> let me find it here, you will put your dies and they go on top of the vignettes. So you put your dies on top of your, your vignettes here and then you line them up and you cut them out. And then when you cut them out, you're going to come up with all of your cut vignettes so the ones that I used you'll see here there's some corner ones these beautiful sunflower sprays the sunflowers here the other flowers it's just beautiful and there's two different um, and, and the camera my camera's not picking it up but there's two different colors on here one's more of an orange color ish and then the other one's more of a deeper burnt uh, type of a reddish orange so this is what they look like and then you you use these with some foam dots, you shape them if you want to, and then you put them on top of your your other vignettes here so that you have that decoupage layers on there that really pops on your creations that you make. So what I'm talking about is if you look here, you can see that I, I have decoupaged here and I put a foam tape behind and I've popped those up and I've shaped them the same here with the sunflowers. You can see um, I've used some foam tape on there as well to pop those up to really, really show um, the depth 
and just the beautiful, beautiful effects that you can get with their decoupage um, collections that they have, which almost all of them are decoupage. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I've used today for my lantern dies um, cards that I made is I used their uh, brand new lantern card shape which that's what it looks like. You can make boxes out of these. You could um, cut them on a gift box. You can make cards, easel cards, regular cards, just so many different things. Um, if you go to their website, you can see the cards that are made by their UK design team. And they are just so beautiful. Um, I am so blessed and my friend Ida who is created to create are also a couple of us that have been selected for the U.S. design team for Carnation Crafts, which will be up and running hopefully soon. And we'll make some cards and send them in. And then when they have their, um, their uh, Carnation Crafts TV where they're selling collections, then you can see the design team cards that everyone has made, both UK and U.S., Right now, you can find the UK design team, and they are so talented, so you need to go and look. But here's the different layers that you have. So the, the large one I used, of course, for the card base, and then the different ones I used to layer my different layers on each of the colors of the card. So you can see the card base, then you can see I put a, a burgundy one and then a different colored one Um on there and the same with the other layering pieces here so um uh, just just stunning so you will not be disappointed at all with these beautiful collections so that is the lantern shape card their number is 220909 on their website sorry i'm not in frame sorry about the glare so that is the lantern shape that i made these out of and then they have the coordinating papers that you can download and print so you don't have to worry about matching up cardstock or you can buy their pro paper colored cardstock from their UK site but I um, I print mine I like to have mine on hand so I print mine and um, they come out just so beautiful so when you cut them out like here's just kind of an example of the lantern so they have the different really beautiful different um, scroll type pieces that you inlay in there. Um, they have the candle. I use the middle part over here on these ones, so I don't have one to show you, but that's the decorative piece inside, just like the side pieces here. When you cut them out from the, um, the dies, uh, those are what you're seeing as the beautiful scroll work and the different things that cut out. And then you piece them together and you make your cards. So that's kind of an example of <clears throat> what the lantern kind of looks like when you cut out pieces in different colors. You can make them, you could do a Christmas one, you could do it all in white, you can do the colors of the vignettes that they have on their website. So it's just so amazing. So many different cards that you can make and use to create what you want to create. Um, and then this is the uh, Olive Autumn with the sunflowers that I used as well. That's what the dies look like. And then your layering pieces that, um, of course, you use that I showed you here when they cut out. That's kind of what they look like. And then the other one is the uh, Anemone Trio. Anemone Trio, I think. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's the corner one. And that's the other die that I used uh, with that. So it's the lantern die, and it is these three dies collections that I used to make the cards. So you need to go visit them and just see how beautiful. Uh, the other things that I used were, um, of course, um, they have stamps. So I used stamps um, on on the cards that I did previously and then um, some of the stamps here. I used the So Sorry uh, on this one to make a matching um, a matching money uh, envelope um, and then some more stamps. So they're they're just beautiful, the different fonts and these are dies. 
So you can take a look at those and see what you might like from that collection. And then on the, the little hinges, I used Heartfelt Creations window hinges dies and I made just the little, you know, door hinges here, door knockers, whatever you want to call them, um, to open up on those. So that's what those look like. And, um, your, you know, your just creativeness can just, juices just start flowing with all of this. So here is the first card I made and it's got the lantern shape. And then here's all the inlay pieces that you see here. Um, here's the decoupage flowers um, that I made. What I did is I cut the door open. There's always, um, with carnation crafts, there's snip ability. So you can snip and snip and use um, just parts of your dies, parts of your vignettes. You can. I open this up to use this as a door. I put welcome home as this is a bereavement card. And then this one kind of opens up to the top and it has a poem and then I decorated the inside as well. So it's safely home. That's why I put welcome home here with the little flap. And then I just put my uh, created by on the back and it just stands up. So you can, um, when you give it to uh, the person or the family, they can display it next to their picture if they want to or something like that. And then I always include in my, um, uh, that goes to this one, I guess. I'll get to that. But then I've also made the matching um, money card holders because uh, a lot of us give money to help the family when when there is, uh, they've lost someone. And then I've made the matching envelope for the lantern die. So that's one color uh, style of a vignette that I made for uh, the lantern die. So another uh, color vignette is a different kind of a rose gold or a rose kind of color, um, which is this one. I'm going to move this back so I can have a little room. <coughs> Excuse me. And so this is the other one that I made with the different um, shades of the different colors. So you can see, hopefully the camera will pick it up, kind of the different deeper colors. This is like a lighter color um, with more of the rose gold. And then this is more of the, the, the cream with the um, orangish more tan colors so you can kind of see the difference of the vignettes so they have different vignettes that you can download and make you can you can leave this out all together you can do a Christmas one you can do a nativity scene inside wedding scene anything uh, it's just your imagination can run wild so this is the second one I made I also opened it up this one I put the flame that comes with the die and the little burst in there and then this one actually opens um, like a regular card and then um, I decorated the inside so uh, I always include the sentiment in the bag when I package them as the gift set so that they know what's inside uh, what the sentiment is so what I did was I put the candle with the light in here in the door and then I found a poem on the internet and it says there are some who bring a light so great to the world that even after they have gone the light remains with deepest sympathy so I thought that was just perfect to put in there with the candlelight and then I kind of just decorated the back with another one of the decoupage pieces but I just put it flat so that you know it was um, laying flat on the back so that is the other vignette color that I made, I went ahead and put um, some more of the um, vignettes on here and then I just cut out a label in the coordinating colors and that's the matching envelope and then this is the um, money um, card holder envelope, um, you know, if, if uh, you tend to give uh, monetary a gift to help the family out when they lose a loved one. So um, there is uh, two examples of 
what the vignettes look like in the different colors and the different colored of vignettes that you can download from um, Carnation Crafts. And I hope you enjoyed looking at some of the ideas that you can use the Carnation Crafts collections for. They are so versatile and they're so beautiful. So please go again and give them a visit and just see all the beautiful collections that they have. They come out with so many new collections all the time. Again, it is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk where you can find all the beautiful dots to add to your crafting collection. So thank you so much for joining me. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions and I will get back to you. Thank you so much. Great.